Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, we're starting off with a low battery, huh? These batteries are really old for this camera, so is this camera. Um, it's nice to have Mrs. Viper Keeper back on her feet a little bit. Uh, uh, she's the one holding the camera now. She's feeling much better. Oh, and there was a big strike from the green rocket. I don't think I caught it, though. Would you like that? Oh, yes, she Keeping would like that. Yep, as usual. Once you grab that bowl, we can replace it. Yes, that was a calculated risk, people. It's not like our uh, free handling friend from South Carolina. Um, this past uh, week's drama within the uh, venomous community. Uh, I am. I have to say that I am very shocked that. He survived this ordeal. Time will tell how much of a uh, how much damage was done to his uh, body, but uh, well, I think what saved him is the fact that it was a baby. Yes, it was a, a neonate, uh, probably not with a full load of venom that you would get from an adult uh, going nine to. 10 hours or whatever it was with no anti-venom available because um, he said, and this is a direct quote, anti-venom is for pussies. So um, talk about karma biting you. Um, that was defi definitely that, uh, that case. All right, here's Big Blue and because she is really excited yeah <laughs> I'm gonna give her some space there you go so nice to have my big girls back on feed after you know she was off feed for the longest time um, that always is quite disturbing uh, uh, you know I like all of my animals, I you know I really you know like them and love them and some more than others. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know these mm, big blue here and uh, the green rocket uh, are my favorites of the uh, Insularis group. They're my firstborn uh, in, in, after a uh, uh, a, a wild caught pair were bred and. Uh, uh, gave birth and, and she has a special story um, uh, we were cannula feeding and she was put into some water and, and she actually uh, sort of drowned and um, I resuscitated her uh, including doing <laughs> mouth to mouth which was pretty dangerous but uh, uh, she survived to, to be an adult and reproduce and, and make a whole bunch of babies for me. Um, uh, uh, we, we have the video of that. Uh, maybe someday I'll publish it. Uh, but uh, um, yeah, it was quite dramatic and I was quite fortunate uh, that I succeeded. I'm sorry. I just wanted to get the piece of uh, substrate out of the doorway. We'll shut this. Yeah, this is, I don't know if this is one of her babies. It perhaps is, I'd have to look in the record. But she's a, an adult. And she's looking for a feed. She's ready to breed. Um, the only, the only problem is I have only a related animal and I don't like to, uh, to interbreed my animals. Um, 
So if I can find somebody who has a uh, has a male, I, I would be happy to uh, rehome her um, because of the status of the venomous keeping community. I, I generally do not uh, uh, allow my snakes to, to go out to just anybody. Uh, always have been that way, but even more so now. Um, certainly the very dangerous snakes like uh, uh, any elapid or uh, Russell's vipers or saw scales, I'm just not handing over to anybody, but you know, since these guys will probably just ruin your your week, and there you would probably be able to find antivenin and antivenin, although you would want to you know get it, receive it right away, um, it doesn't have the same consequences as you know ten hours of taipan venom circulating in your body. Mm. Um, you you may lose a finger. Uh, um, or such, but uh, uh, you probably will not have any major organ damage um, from the venom of these snakes. But I always say never underestimate the power of venom. Well, here we are with the frantic one, as Mrs. Viper Keeper uh, uh, just mentioned. Uh, and actually, this is what makes him dangerous. Uh, uh, feeding responses are no joke. We we try not to uh, uh, to get them all wound up at feeding time, but you know it's not like this snake is being starved at all. Uh, uh, he has a very healthy weight, and he's not very accurate. So this is why it's possible for him to miss and get one's finger in his mouth. Is that true there, dude? Huh? Water culbras like this, especially the ringed water culbras, generally are quite uh, uh, easy going. He really doesn't like to be touched though. Um, but, you know, he puts up with a lot from me. You know, sometimes if I don't catch him at the right, you know, point of the shed, I have to sort of restrain him and, uh, you know, remove, you know, stuck head plates, eye caps and stuff, but he tolerates it pretty well. He doesn't really struggle all that much. It's just that, you know, I'm very reluctant to put my hands on, on a venomous snake unless it's absolutely necessary, unlike uh, some other people. Uh, yes, folks, I'll get over this eventually, but, um, you know, he has done perhaps irreparable harm to the venomous keeping community across the country. Uh, the people that, uh, that do this correctly. Um, so I am going to uh, uh, rag on this for uh, a little while. Um, Thud will just sit there um, until he decides that uh, he wants to eat it. Uh, of course, he thinks I'm going to try to take it from him, but, you know, <laughs> I have no interest in that mouse. Look, even with a hook, he's uh, somewhat resistive, so uh, we'll just put him back in his cage for right now and try to get him stretched out, because he usually loops himself around, so it's hard to swallow the damn mouse. So. Uh, you know, and then he drops it and forgets where he is. Yeah. And you have to go back in and show him. So back in the old days in, you know, the Bugs Bunny cartoons, we would say, what a maroon, huh? All right. So that's the thud. I'll set one aside for his second offering uh, because he is very unhappy if he doesn't get hit seconds. And you can see that, oh, the poor thing is just starving. Uh, yes. Actually, he was turning into a big fat pig. Yeah, and this is just, you know, feeding him the minimum. Um, okay. So let me lock him up for now and move on to the next uh, customer.
Looks like Thud's ready for number two. Let's uh, access his cage. No, he's not going to like that because he's going to hit a piece of glass. Let's uh, open this again. Notice I'm staying a, a fair distance from the front of the cage. I have, I have snakes that are somewhat defective. <laughs> But, you know, we, we love, love them nonetheless. Over here, dude. Oh, 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 now, okay, now we got it. There you go, go ahead, take it back in there. Come on. All right, now I got a hook yet. There you go, dude. Chomping this one faster than you did the original one. All right. <laughs>